Look at that beautiful Washington sky. Man, Value Village, let's get it. Look at this dope ass vintage North Face right here. This thing is super old school. Look at the zipper, vintage North Face tag. You have someone's name in here and on the inside it says Skip. I actually have a homie Skip, so shout out to you. Insanely dope vintage Nautica jacket. It's actually a puffer jacket, so it does have some feathers on the inside. Remnants of Yo Mama's pubic hair. It seems to be in pristine condition, honestly. What's really dope is that it actually has Nautica embroidered on the back of the neck, and this thing is reversible. So, you unbutton this right here on the neck, and now that embroidery is on the inside, and you just have a clean navy blue jacket, Nautica tag stitched on the back, and then it has the Nautica sailboat right there. This thing is super sick. I wish it was not too big, otherwise I'd cop for the personal, but I will probably cop for the site because this thing is insanely dope. I love Vintage Nautica. More Vintage Nautica right here. It has a fleece interior, yellow stripe with a 3M stripe below that, and that's on the back as well, so you're extra safe. And you have a little Nautica tag stitching on the sleeve. Really, really dope. However, this one's way too taxed on. Damn, the FUBU denim jacket though with FUBU embroidered on the breast. You have all these little flags, it says limited edition. This thing is insane. Look at the inside too. You have all these little flags all around the neck. A little vintage Columbia. A lot of them have these weird like neck embroideries on the back. I was like reading those. This one says powder keg. Damn, look at this jacket. This jacket's so fucking sick. I'm just out here creeping, spying. Fuck, that's such a cool jacket. I've been finding a lot of Cleveland Browns heat as of late, and I just love this fucking brand because it's Trench. I found the brand Trench in the trenches. Bitch, I'm in the motherfucking trenches. In the trenches, nigga. Never gave a fuck how I'm li See what I'm talking about? More vintage Cleveland Browns heat. Super vintage Logo 7. If the shirt was not in such shitty condition, I would actually cop this. Really dope pro player Buccaneer shirt. This is actually made of like a some kind of... I don't know, like, plastic material or grippy material? I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like a grip tape. Oh, that's super dope. A Disturbed band tee. I love Disturbed. This is one of my favorite bands. Crazy embroidered all-star Mickey's jersey right here. Look at this. You got Mickey Mouse just looking like a boss. Super confident in his quarterbacking abilities. Mickey's all-stars. A right here for all stars. Ooh, A star. Get it, get it. A number 28, Mickey Mouse. Once again, all embroidered. Everything on this thing is embroidered. And to top it off, it's high fashion as fuck with the side slits and extended back. Damn, Mickey, you making high fashion sports jerseys and shit? Damn, look at all these sea bass. And you know this thing is extra high fashion when even the sleeve has a side slit. Damn, high fashion as fuck. Insanely dope Crooks and Castles. Tons of embroidery going on right here. This thing is super sick. Cut so action out the ass. YKK zips. I just found this really dope Route 66 quilted jacket. As you guys know, I love quilted patterns. This definitely fits him though. You got the Velcro pockets right there. And then you have the interior. I just poked his ribs anyways. You have this right here. Perfect place to hold his blunts. And then you go over here. It's got the freaking M1 flight jacket pocket which you can use to store your debit cards or whatever but yeah really really dope jacket for sure and it looks like it's in perfect condition no stains or nothing killer fine look at him just doing the spin for us guys <laughs> hey that's dope a muse hoodie muse actually makes one of my favorite songs to hacky sack to super patriotic america Dope, I've been looking for a burner. Damn, this is a really dope design. They're kind of taxing and there are tons of freaking dirt marks on this. I don't know if someone's like rolling around the dirt or something. But it says Metalocalypse and Death Clock. At least that's what we think it says, but we're not too sure. Really, really dope though, regardless. This thing's insane. Blake is observant as fuck. He noticed that it definitely is Death Clock because there's a fat clock in the middle. No, it's falling! Ah! You got that Freddy Krueger, Ralph Lauren though, with the colorized horseman right there. $7.99. Damn, look at these really dope blazers. Brooklyn right there on the tongue. Super dope. These are 11.5. Sadly, I am going to have to pass because they do not fit me. But man, these things are super dope. All right, you two. We're at the Kent Value Village. Blake's finishing uh, up his blunt real quick. We're going to go inside see what we can find. Washington State shit, people. Washington State shit. Finishing up a blunt when he's like four feet away from the Value Village. He didn't want to finish it in his car. 
and we have random people asking us hella questions for no reason. Look at that hot pink Neff though. Very riffraff-esque dope Cleveland Browns team apparel. New with tags. I'm telling you guys, I've been finding so much Browns gear. I'm saucing, I'm saucing, I'm saucing on you. Really dope Columbia fleece that Blake found. This thing is crazy. Look at this all over print. You have this fucking little button up neck right there. Extended. It's got the side zip so you know it's high fashion as fuck. And then we got this really dope quilted jacket. Orange Hunter quilted jacket on the inside you got that duck camo sadly it is not reversible which is quite depressing but still really dope piece regardless this icy ass heli hansen jacket right here coating purple with the sky blue or whatever the fuck color that is super fucking spacely this thing is dope as fuck heli hansen embroidered down there heli hansen embroidered right there heli hansen embroidered everywhere then you got equip embroidered on the back of the neck. This thing is super dope. But I just found this really dope denim jacket that I'm wearing right now. I'll show you guys in a sec. And then the homie actually showed me these right here, which is some commune denim, size 28, $10. Really dope. If you guys don't know about commune, definitely check the fucking game because commune is killing it. Look at this wax denim commune jacket. Thing is insane. Black buttons, commune tag right there. Commune be doing some dope ass shit. Look at their tagging. Little chain link. And then right here it says uh, something that I cannot read. Says Safransky. I don't fucking know. Then you got Commune on the back. This thing is super dope and marked at 10 bucks. So I might have to pick this one up. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to yet another thrift recap. I am beyond excited. I have some sex to show you guys today. And as the hat says, sex sells. Man, I am telling you, I'm just killing it with these trips to the thrift. I'm finding so much freaking heat of course anything i show you guys today will be for sale on hfv.bigcartel.com and the stuff does sell out quick usually within one to two days so i would bookmark that site and check back regularly also if you want to stay up to date on everything we post i would follow the instagram which is hfv official we post a lot of the heat that we acquire on the instagram so both of those will be on the screen and in the description below so definitely check out those links if you want to acquire anything in this video also if you want to have a chance to acquire these things early i would definitely recommend following me on snapchat i usually post all of my thrift finds on Snapchat usually way before I actually post them on YouTube so definitely follow me on Snapchat and that way you guys will actually have a chance to acquire some of these items before they even hit the site also of course follow me on Instagram because my feed is dope as fuck ah, water boys why these bitches lie for so fuck your mind Alright, let's get right into it. The first piece is actually not going to be for sale, sadly, because my friend Grant loves NASCAR gear, and I saw this, and it was just screaming Grant's name. So, of course, I hit him up and asked if he actually wanted this before I posted it, but it's this really dope camo NASCAR tee. It says Dale Earnhardt 3, and it has this all-over woodland camo print. Definitely a dope-ass piece. Next up, we have this really dope red and navy reversible Fila jersey. Super dope. You have the little Fila logo on the breast. And say, uh, maybe you're thinking like, ah, uh, I like that, but that's just too small for me. That's just not a big enough logo. Well, you can just flip this thing around. And then, bam, you got a bigger Fila logo right there on the front looking like the Superman S. But instead, you are a Fila superhero with the big F, and then it says Fila right there, and you have a little Fila tag embroidered or stitched on the bottom left of the jersey. Really, really dope find. Sticking with navy and blue reversible jackets, we have this amazing Nautica jacket right here, and I will not even... I cannot even stress to you guys how dope this thing is. This is probably one of the dopest finds, in my personal opinion, that I've come across. And as you guys know, I am a big fan of Nautica, so I am kind of biased. But I'm telling you guys, this thing is dope. And when I flip it and dip it, you guys will see. First, on this side, you have a really clean vintage Nautica jacket. It's just all blue with a little Nautica sailboat or pirate ship right there. I like to assume that it's a pirate ship, but it's a sailboat because Nautica's high fashion. I'm just too gutter, and in my mind, if I had a boat or a yacht, it would be a pirate boat or a pirate yacht, aka pirate ship, because I don't think they call them pirate yachts, but mine would be a freaking pirate yacht. Anyways, you unzip this thing, you grab these sleeves, pull it out, you grab the other sleeve, pull it out, pull out game too strong, you zip this bad boy up, and then you have one of the dopest jackets I have seen to date. This thing is so freaking sick. I'm buttoning up the neck even though I don't really need to. Boom. You have Nautica embroidered on the neck right here. You have this dope puffy jacket that's red, blue, and red. So once again, red and navy. 
really, really clean piece. And I know these puffer jackets are really in right now, especially after Hotline Bling from Drake because he was wearing a puffy jacket. This, in my opinion, puts that to shame. Last week, I showed you guys a fire Tommy Hilfiger puffy jacket. So I've been trying to acquire these things to keep you guys in style and prevent you guys from spending like three or $400 or however much that jacket that Drake was wearing goes for. Obviously, his has more ridges, but personally, in my opinion, this is way doper than the jacket he was wearing anyways. And it's a really dope vintage Nautica piece. Woo! We got some more heat for you guys. We got some crooks and castles in pristine condition. We got some cut and sew action. We got the Gucci colorway, red and green, and black down here. Like I said, this is cut and sew, so these are all separate panels. You have the crook C R K S, actually like little varsity felt letters stitched on there. And then you have these two castles, crooks and castles, actually embroidered on the freaking piece. So this is super dope to have these actually embroidered. I love embroidered pieces, and I was super stoked to find some Crooks and Castle streetwear in the thrifts. I know you guys are sad about not being able to cop that NASCAR tee, but don't worry, I got some more NASCAR flame for you guys. We have some Jeff Gordon in the building. Really dope Jeff Gordon graphic on this side, and another really dope Jeff Gordon 24 graphic right here as well. Definitely a dope NASCAR piece. We have some starter now, some starter Seattle Mariners division champions, Western division champions. Uh, really, really dope. This thing is super sick. I love that graphic. I had to cop this primarily because it's Starter and because of Seattle Mariners, and I love vintage local gear, especially when it's Starter. Then we have some Polo Sport. We have a Polo Sport Rugby Polo right here. Definitely a dope piece. As you can see, it's in that Lakers colorway. You got the yellow and purple. Really, really dope. Definitely an essential piece, and it's long sleeve. I was super stoked to find this as well. And for the last piece, it's for my personal collection, so I had to show you guys because I always get hyped when I find stuff for the personal because it's really hard for me to find something for my personal because I'm really particular with how things fit. Even though almost everything can fit me and look good, I'm really particular still and I want things to fit just right if I'm gonna keep it because I have such a large stock of clothing. If you guys aren't aware of a brand called Commune, get aware about it because they make some really dope denim, but I found this dope waxed denim jacket right here and I'm not a huge fan of denim, I don't rock denim jackets that much, but I had to cop this, it was a really dope commune piece. It has the commune tag actually stitched right there on the bottom right. Really nice metal buttons. You have this little thing right here that says Chef Franksky. I don't really know what that is. Um, it has the commune tag on the back as well. And what's really dope about this piece is I can wear it as an essential denim jacket. I got it for 10 bucks. But then later on I can distress it or wash it and kind of change it up and make it look a lot different, which is super dope. Anyways, guys, that is it for this trip to the thrift. Hopefully you guys liked all the pickups. If there is anything that you guys would like to purchase, like I said, check out hfv.bigcartel.com and make sure you follow the HFV official Instagram, which is HFV official. Both of those will be on the screen. And also, like I said, make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Both of those are at the Star Life. Also, those will be on the screen now as well. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep living the Star Life. Boom! Damn it, I just fell off that thing trying to get all hyped up and shit.